old or new, they all break down. And no matter if you're driving old or new, it comes down to urgency. What you can feel behind the wheel, what gets your attention, and unfortunately, for a lot of people, what you can put up with or, or won't put up with. The nice thing about the newer ones is they're a hell of a lot easier to fix, especially in this state, because at least they'll come apart. But it's a good analogy for a country. How many squeaks, rattles, pops, and knocks you gonna put up with before you, before you finally decide something needs to be done and take the initiative on your own to start the process? In other words, in this case, say something, talk to your people, plan ahead for the worst case scenario just in case the worst case scenario comes about. Only sounds like common sense to me. Because when you put things off too long, eventually, you're just a pile of junk that can't be fixed. It's here for this, but it drives kind of funny, and I'm trying to figure it out. It has a little thumping noise on the right side. So far I haven't narrowed down to the sway bar link, and I think the inner tire rod's a little weak. That's why it drives funny. And, as I've said before, it would be more than happy to repeat now. When you're walking your unhappy ass down the road of freedom, wondering how you w lost your ride, It'll become pretty freaking obvious, whether you want to admit it to yourself or not. And that's when you start second-guessing yourself and having regrets of all of the things you could have done before things actually got to that point. How do I know this? Because I have done this myself. I tend to push parts too far. And seven out of ten times before that happens, seeing as how I know the limits or think I know the limits of what things can take, that's when it gets dangerous. But I accept the reality in the end if it gets to that point. I don't have anybody to blame but myself. Is that what you want for your country? To think about what was and blame it on somebody else when the reality is if we all pitched in and did a little bit now, it might save us from having to do a whole lot later. Just something to think about. Before the ride you love and has taken you everywhere you need to go turns into something you ain't liking too much that probably over time ain't gonna get the job done just because it's new don't mean it's better and the same goes for cars and political ideologies, which are basically nothing but rehashed old ideas that didn't work in the first damn place. I get it from your perspective. I'm way out here calling the game. And in some cases, pointing out things people haven't even thought of or didn't know about before. So, I understand why people don't share my content. I totally get it. You don't want people to look at you funny. You don't want your family members saying, well, what the hell is this all about? And so forth and so on. I get it. Because I've experienced it myself. As a matter of fact, I'm experiencing it right now. But I don't care. 
I don't care if I have to lay my life down before it's all said and done. Because I believe in freedom. I believe in free will. I believe in the Constitution. And those who would try to destroy it, I feel compelled to oppose. My question to you would be, how far does it have to go before you've had enough? Before you at least take some kind of small action, instead of sitting on the sidelines, hoping everything will be okay.